I'm going to try this. So we have a new tarantula cribs style enclosure and I have been waiting months and months and months and months and months for this very moment where I finally get to show it to you guys and put it together for myself. Okay, so check this out. Tarantula cribs coffin crib. So let's open it. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Look at this pops off and it can be terrestrial as well. This will make a great enclosure either way, but I think today we are going to make it arboreally and I have a perfect idea for it. I want it to be like the My Chemical Romance Helena music video. It's gonna be inspired by that and I've gotten some accessories and things and I have the perfect inhabitant for it, you'll see. I also have another jumping spider I wanted to rehouse, so I actually had Mr. Tarantula Cat clean out this crib because I had another idea as well. So yeah, we have two jumping spiders two different species actually to rehouse today. These enclosures are going to be probably among some of my favorites as long as this all comes together as planned because we all know that sometimes things don't go as planned. If I mess this enclosure up, like this is the only one he had. Like I don't even think he's had it photographed or anything yet. So like again, if I mess this up, that's really bad. <laughs> First, we're going to set up the treehouse enclosure for my Phytopus regius. I decided to try to do a moss background because I want this to be kind of like a garden enclosure. So I started by hot gluing the background and then just pressing moss on and hoping that it would stay. I wanted to add some ornaments, so I actually got this little pot from Dollar Tree and decided I was going to hot glue some moss on it. I also found this adorable little metal birdhouse at Dollar Tree and I thought it would look really cute in a jumping spider enclosure, so I wanted to base this enclosure mostly off this. And of course you can't have a garden enclosure without mushrooms, so I decided I was going to hot glue some of these on the background as well. So this is what the garden enclosure turned out like. I still need to add leaf litter, but I added these cute little wooden shelves and a moss hide on the very top with a magnet. So with that mostly completed, let's start working on this coffin enclosure. I really wanted to focus on the red roses in the Helena music video, so I purchased that from Dollar Tree. And then I also found this really cool black stick thing from Michaels, and I decided I was going to cut it up and use a few pieces of that as well. I want to put all of the roses in the middle like a bouquet, so I had to cut all the roses off of the stems and then hot glue them in kind of a circular motion to make them fit and also look good. I got a little stumped after that on how to arrange everything because I wanted it to be simple, but I still wanted like my point to come across, like people to be able to relate it to the Helena music video, but also have it be a functional jumping spider enclosure. So I decided to just put in some substrate and then I eventually put on some moss. I tried different moss colors and I settled on the green, which you'll see here in a minute, but I just kind of needed to play around to see what looked good, but also like what would be functional. I also had to play around with arranging the black stick things and then I was adding on ledges to see like what I liked or what kind of took away from it too much and eventually I just settled on one of the ledges and removed the rest. So eventually I figured out what I was doing and I'll show you the final result when we rehouse. Okay, so I have both of the enclosures done and they are both extremely different. So I decided to do this garden theme for my Phytopus regius and I did a Helena My Chemical Romance music video theme for my Phytopus Ardens, who is going to look awesome in this enclosure because she should match the color of these roses. And I've had her for quite a while. I think this will be a really cool upgrade for her. And then the other one, oh my goodness, my regius. I've had this regius forever and her enclosure is an absolute mess. It is just webbed up everywhere. There she is up there. Honestly, this might be the perfect opportunity to grab her really quick. Yes, it is. Oh, oh I got you. She's like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> Look how precious she is. Oh my goodness. Got some new leaf 
litter. I got some live oak leaves. Just gonna throw some leaf litter in here. Oh, I love this piece. Let's see. She is very curious. What is that? <laughs> Easiest rehouse ever. This is quite the improvement. This is the enclosure she was in. They really web them up like crazy and stuff. And there's like dead cricket decor, very, very fancy. So I think it was time just to, you know, clean up and a change of scenery and everything like that. All right, and now on to, of course, the grand finale, the coffin enclosure. I had so much fun putting this together. I had a little gravestone that I was gonna put in it too, but honestly, I thought it looked a little too much. I was trying to make it more simple and straight to the point. I might add some more ledges later, but for the sake of this video, I wanted it to just look like this, but I'll probably add to it, you know, after the video. Sometimes I do that when I make videos just because I think of things later that might make it better. So just a heads up. Now, of course, she's hiding now and there's nothing really particularly wrong with her enclosure either. It's just, you know, it's been lived in quite a while and somehow this wreath fell off and it's just like falling apart a little bit. But just comparing the canopy to this, there is more height. Oh, she didn't eat her little... Oh, well, I gave her two crickets yesterday. She must have not eaten the one. But yeah, it has a little bit more height to the canopy, but of course it's more narrow. So, I mean, I think this is great. This is perfect for a jumping spider. Um, I'm gonna try to carefully get her to come out. I don't wanna like totally terrify her, but like, yeah. When you're rehousing like this, sometimes you just have to have some patience because you want them to kind of go in this themselves. Yeah. There we go. Gotta move fast. Gotta move fast. Oh, there we go. <laughs> So as I said, she is going to match this enclosure really nice. She has that fiery, I guess it's a little bit more of a, like an orangey red than just a red. She does look a little dehydrated. Now I know for sure she did eat one cricket yesterday, but she still has one running around the enclosure. Now granted, let me just say, I've had this jumping spider for quite a long time. She's had babies and I got her as an adult. So she's probably not going to like be the longest lived <laughs> jumping spider that I have, but I think she still has a while to go because like I said, she did just eat yesterday. Just sometimes when they age, they look like this and it is what it is, but she still looks really pretty. I wonder if I could offer her a piece of fruit. If you guys didn't know, sometimes people offer jumping spiders a piece of fruit. It has some sugar water in it and that can especially help some older jumping spiders gain a little bit more strength. All right, let's go ahead and just see if she wants to get on the strawberry and likes it. She's like, oh, it's cold and wet. Oh, it's cold and wet. I don't know about that. Come here. I'm gonna try this. She's like, I oh, <laughs> still got some life left in her. <laughs> I don't think she wants anything to do with the strawberry. Now, if you hold still, here she is. Okay, well, at least she jumped into the enclosure this time. Check her out. So her green chalicerae matches the moss and her abdomen matches the roses. I told you guys, it's gonna be so cool. Look at her. So there we have it. I love this enclosure. Hopefully she'll like it too. 
And I'm gonna throw another Cricut in here and probably just missed a little bit on the side. So this enclosure is available for pre-order now. Of course, if you shop with Tarantula Cribs, use my affiliate code, CAT10, it saves you 10% as always. And um, yeah, the pre-order is up and I know they're limited. So if you want to get one, I would pre-order it pretty quickly if you can, just because I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna like this one. So hopefully I can get another and we can try making one terrestrial too, because I would really like to put like a Grandma Stola Polkra in one of these. I think that'd be a really cool species, but I really like it arboreal too. And I know a lot of jumping spider people will probably use it as well because it does make a great jumping spider habitat. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget I have Instagram videos. Probably too much as at Cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It's all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.